Well, welcome to Weekly Wisdom. Uh, today our thought is simply this. Being religious doesn't give you permission to keep on sinning. And you might think, well, why, why would you say that being religious doesn't give you permission to keep on sinning? Because in the ancient church in the city of Rome, the people thought the more we sin, the more we get grace, grace is good, we'll just sin a lot, we can get lots of God's grace, there's a way we can twist our thinking. And in the book of, in the book of Proverbs, Proverbs chapter seven, where there, there's, there's this story of a guy kind of going out looking for trouble. He's wandering in the, in the wrong parts of town at the wrong time. He's looking for a woman to kind of hook up with. And this woman is out there looking for a guy. And so we pick this up in Proverbs chapter seven, beginning of verse 14. And notice how the woman is very religious, but also sees her religion as a reason and a way to allow herself to sin more. So here's what she says when she meets this guy. She says, today I fulfilled my vows. I have food from my fellowship offering at home. I've, I've given my offerings. I even got some extra leftovers. I've been very religious. So then I came out to meet you. I looked for you and I found you. I've covered my bed with colored linens from Egypt. I perfumed my bed with myrrh, aloes, and cinnamon. Come, let us drink deeply of love till the morning. Let's enjoy ourselves with love. She says, I've done my religious duty. I've paid my debts. I've given my offerings. Let me sin some more. Let's have a great time together. I think that's a twisted way of thinking, but before you get too judgmental with this woman, before you get too judgmental with the people in the city of Rome in the ancient world who thought if they sinned, grace would abound, check your own heart. Check your own life. If you grew up in, in, in maybe a, a Catholic background, you might even know that experience. I, I have some friends that grew up Catholic that would say, yeah, we'd I'd go do whatever I want. I just knew I'd go to confessional, do the religious thing. Check, check, check. All good. I'll go out and sin some more. So here's a couple of thoughts. Religion can become an excuse, an excuse to do wrong. I go through my repentance, I go through my confession, and then I can keep on sinning. God is gracious, so I'll do whatever I want. But that's not the heart of God. And that's not the response pattern of somebody who really knows and loves and walks with Jesus. In, in this passage, we see that, that the woman says, I said I'm sorry, so I can do it again. Do we sometimes feel a temptation to sin? And no, we shouldn't. But we kind of think to ourselves, I'll confess later. Right now I'm diving in. I think we all can be seduced into that kind of thinking. And so this woman comes with sort of an aggressive, sinful attitude. I've done my offerings, I've got some leftovers at home, so let's get busy. Let's get busy sinning. She, she doesn't see the disconnect between those two things. And it's clear that she has no intention to stop. She's not planning on stopping this pattern of sin. Her, her, her religious life and her sinful patterns have kind of come to coexist together, and that can happen in our hearts as well. And so here's my, here's my encouragement to all of us, that we would understand that God is gracious, that Jesus died on the cross to pay the price to forgive, forgive us of our sins. But when the Apostle Paul in Romans 6 says, should we continue to sin because grace abounds, he says, may God forbid it. There was four ways in the ancient Greek to say no. The strongest was the one the apostle uses right there in, in Romans chapter six. May it never be so. So God, this is our prayer today, that we love you and we know that you forgive us of our sins, but let us never sin that grace may abound. Let us never say, I've done my offerings, I paid the price, now let me get busy sinning again. But let us repent of sin and turn towards you and live a new life. Remind us that your grace is always sufficient but your grace is never licensed to go on sinning. Speak this truth to our hearts this day, we pray, Jesus, in your name. Amen. Hey, if you're part of Shoreline Church in Monterey, or you're part of our congregation online, join us this Sunday for worship. If you're part of another church, get involved in your church, serve Jesus there, and be a blessing to the people around you. Have a great day.